Friday! We made it to the weekend! Yay! Well, <clears throat> I think I might be getting sick, which is such a bummer. I think I'm catching Judd's cold virus infection, whatever it is. He's finally getting over it, and we were so careful. We even slept in separate beds so I wouldn't catch it, but with my immune system, it was bound to happen. <clears throat> but if you notice something different about me, I'm wearing actual clothes. Usually I'm in my daytime PJs, but I have a, an appointment this morning with my pulmonologist, which is a lung doctor, for mainly my asthma. So I'm going to see him, and he'll be able to tell if I'm getting sick. He might want to prescribe antibiotics, because if I get a cold, it usually always goes to bronchitis and walking pneumonia, and that's just not fun. So he might want to just give me antibiotics to prevent it from doing that, but we'll see. And... This morning I already did my pills and my first breathing treatment and now I'm about to get Parla some food and me some food and we are off to an okay start this morning. <clears throat> well, change of plans. My doctor's office just called and said my pulmonologist got called to the hospital unexpectedly so he can't see patients today, which is fine. They rescheduled me for Tuesday so I'll just see him then. And I am just out here enjoying the beautiful weather on our back porch. I don't know if y'all have ever seen our back porch. but. Carla, you can come out? Okay, you can come if you want. This is our porch, and we are on an inlet. It's very pretty. And I'm loving this winter weather here in Florida, because I can be outside and not die of heat exhaustion. <laughs> well, my infusion supplies was supposed to arrive today. Well, I mean, it did arrive today, but unfortunately there was a mistake. They gave me saline and lactated ringers with air in it. I use an ambulatory infusion pump and so all of the air has to be siphoned out and then I store it in the fridge to keep it sterile. So I can't use these bags, they have to send me new ones, but all the other supplies is okay, thankfully. But good news is I have a nurse that is supposedly coming out tomorrow to teach me how to administer my IV Benadryl and IV Zofran. So I'm getting the shipment of those two medications probably tonight and so I will get my correct saline and lactated bringer bags. So, all good there. Super excited moving forward with new treatments and hopefully those IV medications will help me maintain my nausea and allergic reactions at home and cut down the time I'm in the hospital. So I just put away all of my infusion supplies in this big chest of drawers here. We've got drawer number one, number two, Number three, and number four. That's all like my extra supplies in my infusion backpack. So I can't infuse today because of the mix-up with the saline and lactated ringer bags, but hopefully I get the correct shipment tonight. Hopefully the nurse is arranged to come tomorrow and I can do my infusion tomorrow and learn how to administer the IV medications, which makes me really excited and a little bit nervous at the same time. <laughs> So I just got off the phone with my disability coordinator at my university and she's going to send me all the paperwork I need to fill out and my doctor needs to fill out in order for me to medically withdraw from this semester. It's a huge bummer. I've never had to do this before, but it's the best choice. I mean, who needs more of a sign than having anaphylaxis at school and getting taken to the hospital by ambulance from there? So I think that was God telling me it's time to step back and take a break. I mean, if I try and power through this semester, I'm going to do poorly academically and my health is going to suffer. So this is the best choice and I can always go back to school. Though, you know, it is a bummer and I am upset about it, but there's no way I could stay upset about it today because a huge surprise is about to happen that I've been looking forward to and it's actually a really big surprise for Miss Hippo. Harlow, come here! Come here! I've got a surprise for you and when she's happy, I'm happy. So stay tuned because we're going to go do that surprise right now. So, we're at the dog park. We got some surprises coming. Harlo! Hi! Who's that? Who's that? Oh my goodness! Yeah. Who's that? Yeah! Yeah! Go, Ryan! Get them! Silly. The happy dogs! 
Oh, look at all the tails going. Touch me or touch a stick? <laughs> 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 nice heart. Oh, that's cute. Really? Right. Oh. Jack Wee vlog takeover by Janice and Alex. Holla. We got Levi in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, your theme yeah. song. We got Levi sitting and laying down because he's sore. We got the two pups, the other two pups, playing with the stick. Get the stick. Oh my gosh. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Levi's like, don't care. Her face is covered in dirt. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, pup pups. Oh, his too. Yep. Very nice. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, and now they're coming over, and the dogs get to go crazy at my place now. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, they're so silly. Are you guys picking on on the little guy? Nope. Yep. <laughs> bullies. <laughs> Big bullies. You won't bore, right? <laughs> Okay, we've got um, cookie mix. I'm making one of those videos I saw on Facebook uh, for red velvet cookies, which looks amazing. Those are the dogs <laughs> making those panting noises. The whisk broke, but I'm still mixing here. <laughs> a true trooper. I will put a link to this recipe in the description of the vlog, though of course I'm not sure how well they're going to turn out. Not well so far. Wait, not, we're not gonna give up just yet. <laughs> As you can see, we've got some. We've got some a done. chain down here. They're looking pretty formidable. We upgraded to Spoonie cooking. Needed my walker, but Ooh. that's okay. My legs were giving out on me. I'm gonna do the last scoop here. You got the wet hand and the dry hand, like yeah. your fried chicken. Coat it up. This one's kind of tiny. The rent, the rent of the litter. We've got two trays. Yay! And a mess. Woohoo! The little cookie babies are in the oven. We put it in for 12 to 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. okay, guys, the cookies got really fat. Like, they oh overflow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> if those aren't cake cookies, then I don't know what is. Oh look at that gosh. one! Oh dang, those look wrecked. Ta da! They are giants. But they look really tasty. Now we have to let them cool. Okay. Yep. Ta-da! Look at how many cookies I made. I'm gonna try one. Mmm! Amazing! They're so fluffy! Mm -hmm. I recommend this recipe with a glass of milk. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Another glamour shot. Hi, Denise. Yes. Exciting news! So, I just got a call from my home health company and my IV medications will be delivered tonight and the correct saline and lactated ringer bags will be delivered tonight, so that's awesome. And the home nurse is coming tomorrow to teach me how to administer the IV medications, so that's super exciting. Really happy for that. I come home from doing manly stuff at the academy, like sorry, room clearing sorry, and stuff, and now I'm surrounded by women. We're gonna play the best game in the world! No, it's not. Yes, it is! And there's four people, so this is amazing! Uh -huh. She's too excited for this game. Yes! Way too excited. Uh, so, we, had, we had to stop the trouble game because <laughs> it got out of hand. You guys, this game is tearing us apart! <laughs> it ends friendships! It ends <laughs> do not buy! So, we're gonna finish the trouble game. We'll just call it a draw. How about that? I won mainly. <laughs> Yeah, so Judd and Janice got into a feud and started eating each other and it was just all kinds of bad, but we had fun. That's Jack it. had literally 10,000 <laughs> chances to win and did it. Like, I don't know. She's it's got a game two. of luck. And the dogs are going crazy. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining us on our adventure.